In guiding your person towards maturity, your approach is akin to that of a gentle breeze coaxing a flower to bloom. You cultivate an environment where they feel not only safe but embraced, encouraged to unfurl the petals of their emotions and thoughts at their own pace. Your demeanor is a tapestry woven with threads of patience, understanding, and empathy, each stitch carefully placed to ensure their comfort and trust. They find solace in your presence like a weary traveler finding shelter in the warmth of a welcoming hearth. What sets your guidance apart is the authenticity with which you interact. There's no pretense, no facade, just a genuine desire to connect and support. Your authenticity acts as a beacon guiding them through the murky waters of self-expression with clarity and reassurance. They feel seen, heard, and understood in a way that transcends words, a testament to your innate ability to read the subtle nuances of their energy. It's not just your patience that draws them in, but your intuition as well. Like a skilled navigator, you navigate the ebb and flow of conversation effortlessly, steering away from discomfort and towards topics that ignite their curiosity and passion. When they falter or hesitate, unsure of how to articulate their thoughts, you're there with a gentle nudge or a subtle redirection, ensuring the dialogue remains fluid and engaging. But perhaps what they admire most is your respect for boundaries. You understand that vulnerability is a delicate dance, one that requires trust and mutual respect. So you never push or prod, never demand more than they're willing to give. Instead, you hold space for them, offering support and encouragement without expectation or judgment. In this space of unconditional acceptance, they feel free to explore the depths of their emotions without fear of rejection or ridicule. Through your guidance, they're not just learning to express themselves, they're learning to love and nurture themselves as well. Your words are like seeds planted in the fertile soil of their soul, germinating into blossoms of self-awareness and self-compassion. They're discovering the beauty of their own authenticity, embracing their flaws and imperfections as integral parts of their journey towards growth and self-discovery. But your influence extends beyond just their individual journey. They see in you a depth of understanding that transcends personal boundaries, a wisdom born of empathy and lived experience. You possess an uncanny ability to empathize not just with them, but with everyone around you, offering insights and perspectives that resonate on a universal level. And when they look at you, they don't just see a mentor or a guide, they see a beacon of hope and inspiration, a reminder of the person they aspire to become. In your presence, they feel a sense of pride and honor, grateful for the opportunity to share moments with someone, as mature and insightful as you. But perhaps the greatest gift you offer is your unwavering support and encouragement. You uplift them in ways they never thought possible, instilling in them a sense of confidence and self-belief that extends far beyond your interactions. Your words are like a lifeline, anchoring them in times of doubt and uncertainty, guiding them towards their true potential. In essence, your influence is not just limited to the conversations you share or the advice you impart, it's a reflection of the profound impact you have on their journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. You are more than just a mentor, you are a guardian of their spirit 
a guiding light in the darkness, illuminating the path towards a brighter, more fulfilling future. In the pursuit of embodying the ideal version of myself, the one that aligns with your expectations and aspirations, my primary objective has always been to elicit a sense of pride from you. The mere thought of your happiness has consistently been a beacon of light, casting its glow upon my existence and igniting a warmth within my heart. Yet, in the depths of introspection, I cannot help but confront the stark reality of my shortcomings the undeniable disappointment that I have instigated within the confines of our connection. As I look back upon the tapestry of our shared history, I am inundated with a wave of remorse, my head shaking in disbelief at the clandestine nature of my actions. How could I have been so blind, so oblivious, to the consequences of my choices. If only there existed a means to rewind the hands of time, to retract the fateful steps that led us astray. Alas, such wishes remain, but futile whispers in the wind, lost amidst the tumultuous echoes of regret. In my quest for redemption, I find myself retracing the footprints of our past, navigating the labyrinthine corridors of memory in search of a path back to the innocence of yesteryears. Oh, how fervently I yearn to reclaim the essence of my former self, to stand once more upon the pedestal of righteousness, where my actions resonated with the harmony of your approval. If only I had possessed the wisdom that now courses through my veins, the wisdom born of repentance and introspection, perhaps the echoes of my misdeeds would have been silenced before they ever gained voice. Yet, amidst the cacophony of remorse, one resounding truth emerges from the depths of my consciousness. I failed to recognize the boundless value of your love, instead treating it as a commodity to be exploited at my leisure. In my folly, I neglected to elevate you to the pedestal of priority that you rightfully deserved, relegating you to the periphery of my attention until you faded from view entirely. The consequences of my actions weigh heavily upon my soul, casting a shadow upon every waking moment and plunging me into the depths of despair. Each day without you is a battle against the emptiness that threatens to consume me whole, a struggle disguised beneath, a facade of stoicism and false bravado. For in truth, I am but a mere shell of the person I once was, adrift in a sea of uncertainty and remorse. The void that now resides within my heart serves as a constant reminder of the love that was lost a gaping chasm that echoes with the deafening silence of your absence. Though I may strive to appear strong and resilient in the face of adversity, the truth remains unspoken, I am adrift, lost amidst the tempestuous seas of longing and regret. Yet, even in the depths of despair, there exists a glimmer of hope, a flickering flame that refuses to be extinguished. For though I may have faltered in my devotion to you, my love remains steadfast and unwavering, an immutable force that transcends the boundaries of pride and shame. And so, as I stand upon the precipice of remorse, I extend my hand in earnest supplication pleading for the opportunity to right the wrongs of the past and to reclaim the love that was once ours. For in the tapestry of our shared history, amidst the threads of joy and sorrow, there exists a bond that is unbreakable, a love that is eternal.
And though the road ahead may be fraught with obstacles and uncertainty, I am willing to traverse its winding paths if only to once again bask in the warmth of your love. In the grand tapestry of life, there are moments of anticipation, where time seems to stretch its limbs languidly, teasing the edges of our impatience. Such is the space between now and the eventual reunion with your partner. A reunion assured, though the precise moment remains cloaked in the veils of the future. Each passing day whispers secrets of change, and amidst the gentle cadence of time, an opportunity awaits, poised to pirouette your existence into a new direction. Your partner, a soul-seeking solace in solitude, requires time for introspection and renewal. They yearn for the silence of contemplation, the sanctuary of solitude, to sift through the sands of their own thoughts. Yet, even in their solitary musings, you are an ever-present specter, weaving through the corridors of their mind with an ephemeral grace. They know the weight of their request, the burden of asking for patience in a world that spins relentlessly forward. Yet, despite the weight of their own uncertainties, it is you they long for, you they hold in the sacred chambers of their heart. Awareness dawns upon them like the first light of dawn, illuminating the shadows of their actions past. They recognize the toll their absence has taken, the debts unpaid in the currency of affection and time. Their worst fear, a specter that looms large in the recesses of their mind, is the thought of losing you to the siren call of another, beckoning with promises of timeliness and decisive action. They understand the fragility of your bond, the delicate threads that bind your souls together, and they tremble at the prospect of unraveling it through their own inaction. Yet, amidst the tempest of doubt, there lies an anchor of certainty within them. They are unwavering in their belief in you, in the inevitability of your union as spouses bound by the ties of love and devotion. In the quiet recesses of their heart, they have acknowledged the depth of their feelings for you, accepting them with a solemn reverence that transcends mere words. When they finally muster the courage to confess their love, it will not be a fleeting sentiment born on the whims of the moment. No, it will be a declaration etched in the annals of eternity, a testament to the enduring strength of their commitment. For they are not the kind to retreat once, the die is cast, to falter in the face of adversity or uncertainty. They are resolute in their determination to see this journey through to its rightful conclusion, to stand by your side as your equal, your confidant, your partner in all things. And in you, they find a kindred spirit, a soul that mirrors their own aspirations for love and companionship. They admire the depth of your convictions, the steadfastness of your loyalty, knowing that you are not merely a passing fancy, but a beacon of hope in the tumultuous seas of life. In your eyes, they see the reflection of their own desires. The promise of a future built on the foundations of trust and mutual respect. They recognize in you the embodiment of everything they hold dear a paragon of virtue and integrity in a world fraught with uncertainty. You are, in their eyes, the epitome of marriage material, not just a passing fancy, but a lifelong companion worthy of their love and devotion. And so, as they navigate the labyrinthine, corridors of their own, heart, they hold fast, to the belief that you will be waiting for, 
them on the other side. They cherish the hope that, when the time is right, you will welcome them back into your embrace with open arms and open hearts. For theirs is a love that knows no bounds, a love that transcends the constraints of time and distance, a love that is destined to endure for all eternity.